my great pleasure to welcome you to the Julia for High Performance Computing mini symposium today. My name is Carsten Bauer. Uh, this is uh, Samuel Omlin. Um, he's from CSCS. I'm from uh, the Paderborn Center for Power Computing in Germany. And um, we are the organizers of today's mini symposium. And um, we've prepared a few intro slides just to get everything started, you know, uh, talk a little bit about what has happened in the past year uh, in the Julia HPC space. And, um, and then we have compiled a hopefully nice and interesting program, lots of speakers from, from different institutes, different countries, um, and I'll get into that in a second. So as I said, what has happened in the past year? Uh, I've just put, uh, just put a few things here. Uh, last year uh, at JuliaCon 22, we had uh, in a virtual format uh, the very first Julia for HBC mini symposium. Um, perhaps some of you have watched it online. Uh, so this is the first uh, in-person one, the second overall. We are uh, looking forward to making this a tradition. Uh, hopefully uh, that will happen with your contributions. Um, right then, otherwise, at Supercomputing in Dallas last year, uh, we had the very first Julia for HPC Birds of Feather session. Um, just a second ago when we took pictures, I thought I should have put a, put a picture of that buff session here. I forgot about it because I could tell you uh, it was packed. It was uh, packed and in particular by non-Julia users, uh, which is good, right? Because it's an outreach event for us. Um, so you just have to uh, take my word for it <laughs> for now. Uh, but that was a great success. And then at CIAM earlier this year in Amsterdam, right? There was a mini symposium for uh, research software engineering with Julia. Another great event uh, that I didn't attend, though. You were there, I think. And uh, then in PASC, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, like that's a conference for like more on the application side, like uh, computational scientists uh, in Switzerland and Davos. Uh, we also had a, in fact, like a one-day Julia for HPC mini symposium there, like two blocks in the morning, in the afternoon. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, lots of things are happening. Like we are present at at conferences. Uh, obviously, the, I only put the conference part here. There have been lots of workshops and tutorials uh, uh, going on at uh, ETH, at uh, HLS in Stuttgart, at the uh, eScience Center in the Netherlands, right? Uh, lots of other places. Um, part of ECP, praise lots of these national um, HPC uh, funding programs. Uh, and obviously, if you have uh, conducted an event that's not on the list, reach out to me because we want to connect and, uh, you know, build uh, a community. Uh, feel free to reach out and, and uh, uh, join us. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, there was a community paper put out on the archive by uh, a bunch of the folks, uh, some of which will also speak here today, um, including myself and, and Sam, but also, uh, you know, uh, Valentin and, you know, some of the, the, the faces that are omnipresent, I guess, in the Julia HPC world. Uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, again, it was a, a cross-continental collaboration, uh, lots of people from different places. Um, right, um, that brings me to the schedule for today. Um, uh, the, the schedule is composed of three parts. Uh, that's also how it's presented in pre-talks, I think, as three separate blocks. Um, the first block is what we dubbed uh, scaling applications. So this will be from uh, application scientists, uh, talks about how they use Julia, for their uh, scientific uh, explorations. Uh, so Ludovic will give a talk, uh, Dominic, uh, Michel schlotke lakemper and uh, Henrik Ranoka. Uh, the third talk we will, will be virtual, unfortunately, uh, the only virtual talk uh, today. The second part then will be from the HPC Center side of things a little bit. Um, so if William Goldoy from Oak Ridge and uh, Mosi Giordano from UCL, then myself will give a little talk about tooling. Uh, and then, then we will have the big lunch break, including the photo. I'll remind everyone of the photo. So uh, uh, Ranjan said 12.30 sharp, and I'm trying to uh, get you all there. Uh, so we'll remind you of that. And then after the lunch break, we will have the third part on ecosystem developments. Uh, so Tim from Julia Computing will talk a little bit about one API, uh, Julian about um, Dagger developments, and Johannes a little bit about distributed. So I hope that's an interesting uh, schedule for the next uh, it's not the next three hours because there's a lunch break, but overall, uh, three hours. Um, there will always be the option to ask some questions after the talks. Uh, and then at, at the end of every session, we have like a few minutes for like overall talks, uh, overall questions. Uh, but there will be plenty of opportunities to talk to us, obviously, also outside uh, that mini symposium. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, whatever happened there? <laughs> uh, why, why did it 
jump in front of my presentation, whatever. Uh, so I'm in a Zoom meeting for Michael and Hendrik. They will show up in a, in a second. Um, all right, uh, but uh, speaking of asking questions and getting in touch, uh, tomorrow there will be a Birds of Feather session for Julia and HBC uh, at uh, 3 p.m. In, uh, in this building in room 144. And obviously, it would be great to have you there because that's a more discussive format where you can you know, uh, complain or ask questions or, or tell us what, what great things you do with Julia and HPC. Um, Emphasis on the complaint. <laughs> Emphasis on the complaint. Uh, Valentin will take those on specifically. Uh, all right, yeah, no, obviously, it would be great to have you there and, and hear you know, feedback from the community and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to that. Uh, finally, get in touch. I have to mention the, the regular channels where you can reach out to us um, and participate, become a member of the Julia HPC community. Uh, the obvious choice is the Slack channel, uh, hashtag HPC on the Julia Slack. Uh, there's also a monthly call organized, which uh, I think this is still correct, the fourth uh, Tuesday of the month. It's mostly the, uh, most of the time the last Tuesday of the month, but technically not always. So that's why I write it like this. If that's too confusing, just go to the community calendar of julialang.org and uh, there you will find the, the correct uh, date and time and Zoom link and, and everything. Uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you there as well. And now I think we have a few minutes left before our uh, the first talk uh, and I'll hand over to Sam, um, which will talk about the solar system. Yeah, we have three minutes. Um, yeah, so, um, Every year, we also want to do a, a little survey to see uh, how the Tulia community develops, what are the interests, what are the focuses, what, what kind of things people do, want to do, etc. And so you find it here. Um, how do we get there? We'll, we'll bring the QR code and the link back in a second, and we'll also show it multiple times today. I'll just go away to, to quickly show it. Yeah, so this is the, the survey. And so you will have questions like, uh, do you use HPC systems? Uh, like, do you use small scale or large scale um, uh, applications, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, if you would fill that out, that that would really be appreciated, such that we can see as a community where we are going to. Maybe let's put back the. There's the code, and uh, yeah, we'll give you right now already two minutes. Again, you can fill this out later today, tomorrow. We'll show it in the buff as well. Um, obviously, only fill it out once. Uh, th that would be nice. Um, and in two minutes, we will have our first speaker, uh, which will be Ludovic.